I have the good fortune of living in Grand Haven, Michigan. One of the coolest things about living in Grand Haven is that we're completely surrounded by sand dunes. Of course, everybody's favorite part about sand dunes is climbing to the top. I can climb faster than you do. I bet you can. Oh, it's hard climbing these hills. This is a steep hill. The cool thing is, the steepness of a sand dune actually is telling you something about the microscopic particles of sand that make up the dune. I gotta catch my breath. Depending on whether the particles are big or small, the slope of the sand dune can be different. I think this is far enough. Of course, the real reason anybody climbs a sand dune is so they can run down. Oh boy, that's too fast. Now I'm just across the river in Ferrysburg, which has some dunes of a very different kind. Now, unlike the sand dunes, which had grass and trees to hold everything in place, this is just loose stone. There's nothing holding this here. Now, in this case, with these really big rocks, this pile is actually really, really steep. So here, as I look over to this next pile of rock, I can see it looks like it has kind of a shallower incline. I bet that one's made up of smaller stones. Yeah, you can see these stones do look a little bit smaller. This last pile looks to me like it might be as steep as the first one. Let's see how big the rocks are. Whoa, crazy. These rocks are the smallest ones yet, but they're kind of like stuck together. I mean, this is like quartz or something like that. It's almost like it got wet and that's held it so it has this really steep angle. Now we've compared a couple different rocks here at this cement factory, but even with microscopic grains of sand, small changes in the size and shape of those grains of sand can have macroscopic results. It's amazing how such tiny details can be made plainly visible in such big ways. Stand by.